All right, so this is going to be a revision, or for some people, an introduction into uh, biology topic four, which is genetics. And this is generally for standard level for SL of IB, the international bachelor. I might add a couple of small things for higher level just from time to time because sometimes it's easier to explain things in the language of the higher level rather than the standard level, but just just going on. So topic four goes from topic 4.1 to 4.4, and we're going to start with 4.1. So 4.1 has in it starting off chromosomes. We're going to talk about chromosomes. We're going to talk about genes. We're going to be talking about alleles. And finally, mutations. Mutations. I'm going to leave mutations for last, and they're probably going to, well, the topic of mutations is going to be not in this video, but in the next, because it's generally just as long as these three put together. So, our first question. What are chromosomes. Chromosome. Chromosomes. Uh, the, the general question you'll get on a test or on the exam, for example, would be outline, right? Outline a chromosome. Uh, but this is the same thing as what are chromosomes. Now, for remember SL, what a chromosome is, it's Generally, it's just a long strand of DNA. On higher level, you know, this long strand of DNA wouldn't really pass off, but, or well, you know, you wouldn't get it away with just saying the long strand of DNA. On standard level, you know, you're fine. That's, that's basically all you have to know. So, uh, when drawing a chromosome, because, you know, when you're outlining, you're drawing lots of things, there are kind of three ways you can draw it. You can either go like this, you can go like this, or you can get, you know, all technical and draw something like this. I'm not a fan of this. I'm not a fan of this. I'm a fan of this. And, you know, this is not without reason. When you have a chromosome, it's built of three things. You've got, you know, chromosome number one, you've got your center. I'll get back to whether this is a centriole or a centromere. Um, both, both are important, but that's not the topic of this video. So, you, and then you've got another. So, when you draw a, you know, chromosome like this, it looks like they're crossing, but they're not. What they're doing is these two are being attracted to the center. So, they actually look like this. All right, fair enough. Very simple. Now. Uh, in humans, and this is very important to remember that we're talking about humans here. Uh, when we're talking about humans, humans have 46 chromosomes, which means that there are 23 pairs. There are reasons this is so important, especially in genetics, is because, you know, every single one of these pairs, all the way from 1 down to 23, have a certain property or a certain purpose. They have uh, different genetic material that is you know, capable of basically building you. If I took your hair, or your hair follicle, a skin cell, I'd be able to, if I had the correct technology, uh, I'd be able to make another you. And this is because I have all the information that's in these chromosomes, that's in your DNA. Now remember the 23rd pair, this is, these are your, you know, your, your sex, uh, or your gender chromosomes. These are your X and Ys, or your X's and X's. You know, this is whether or male or female. Uh, and then another very important one to mention is the 21st. When you have the trisomy uh, of the 21st uh, pair of chromosomes, you have Down syndrome. And there are, you know, other things that we'll have to talk about, like Huntington's, and those are all for genetics, but those are not for this video. So that's not now, that's going to be later. All right, I'll go to the very top again. So, we know what a chromosome is, now what, uh, what is a gene? 
this is also not too hard to answer, although we're going to be using a couple bigger words. So a gene is a heritable. This is a heritable factor that controls a specific characteristic. All right, so heritable factor that controls a specific characteristic. I might have lost at least a few of you here, and so I'll quickly explain. Uh, what a heritable factor is, and this isn't too hard to explain, you'll, you'll get this easily. Uh, when you're thinking about genetics, and basically what genetics is, you know, it's all about the DNA. So when you're talking about DNA, you're thinking about parents and their offsprings, you know, their, their children. So let's say you have a parent, and or generation M0, and then you have a child, or an offspring, and from what I remember, this is, I think, F1 or P1. I'll, um, I'll get back to that in a later video because we're going to be talking about the hybrid crosses, and that's where we get into that. But that's not for now. Anyway, you have your parents and your children. So, let me get uh, rid of this if I can. Yes, I can. Now, the whole point is that you know, let's say this parent has brown eyes. And let's say this child has, you know, what? Brown eyes. The whole point, when you have something that's heritable, it means that it goes from a parent to a child. When you have a child, you give them, you know, certain traits, certain heritable factors uh, that are hereditary, such as your eye color, your hair color, and your blood type. Those are the three main examples given in the IB program, and those are the only three I'm going to be talking about. You can give a bunch of others, such as, you know, types of sugars and your proteins, uh, you know, types of bone structures or muscle structures. You know, the, the list goes on and on. Basically, everything that makes you, you, it's all in your DNA and it's all heritable. But what's most important to understand here is the difference between your genome versus or your, your genotype. Geno, let's go back here. Your genotype versus your phenotype. So, you know, your genotype, your, your genes, this is all about DNA. Uh, this is, you know, when you have your eye color, hair color, oops, hair color, and uh, your blood type. These are examples of your genotype. This is what makes up you. You have no control over what kind of eye color, hair color, and blood type you're going to have. Because, you know, th these are things that are decided basically while you're still, you know, being created, being you know, before you're born, while, you, while you're still growing inside your, your mother's stomach or, or her womb. Whereas the phenotype, the best way to explain this, th well, this is what happens to you. This is, to some extent, you can decide what your phenotype is going to be. Uh, an example would be, let's say, you know, you have an arm. Most people have arms. Let's hope you have an arm. I'm not discriminating against people without arms. Just, you know, let's, let's hope that you have an arm and you fall down some stairs. Let's make these stairs kind of this color. There are a bunch of stairs, and you're free-falling down these stairs, uh, not having too great of a time, and you fall and hurt yourself. And so now you have this giant scar that's bleeding on your hand. So when you have a child, when you have an offspring, and this, this child has it's, it's much smaller, you know, not just a hand and arm, they're not going to have this scar. It's not there. That's because this is part of your phenotype, not your genotype. If it was genetic to have scars, then, you know, there'd be a scar here, but it's not, so this is part of the phenotype. Now that this is easily understood, let's go back up here. A 
what, a heritable factor that controls a specific characteristic. Now this specific characteristic, what this is called, and what you're going to be calling it, uh, this is a genetic trait. Uh, this genetic trait, as I said, part of the genotype, most commonly associated, you know, it doesn't matter whether you're in IB or just in normal high school, this is always going to be your eye color, your hair color, and your blood type. Alright, so now we've got both uh, chromosomes and genes. Third question, what is an allele? Uh, the answer is going to be basically the same as uh, when answering what is a gene because an allele is one specific form of a gene. Now, uh, to explain this the easiest way, or in the easiest way possible, is we're going to go back to drawing our chromosome. Now, one thing that I left out when drawing the chromosome earlier was that you have certain positions on this chromosome. Uh, you know, let, let's just mark off four for now, but you have the entire chromosome is made up of these, you know, smaller segments or fragments. And what these positions, these, these positions of your alleles, uh, let, let's, you know, do something like this. These, you know, are your, the positions of your alleles or your genes because remember, once again, an allele is a specific form of a gene. So when allele is a sort of, you know, let's say that the gene is going to be that you have an eye and that your eye has a color. Well, the allele is going to tell you what kind of color it's going to be. So, you know, it's going to be blue, um, that's an eye spelled green, green is spelled with a G, you know, blue, uh, blue, green, or for example, brown, are going to be your your aloes. These are going to be the colors of your eye. What color is it? Whereas the gene is going to tell you, hey, you know, your eye has a color. Um, if you didn't have aloes, your your eyes would just be colorful. You wouldn't uh, either. Everyone would have the same eye color, or I, uh, you know, we live in a world where we have aloes. We have you know, different alas. Not everyone has the same eye color, and to be able to distinguish between, you know, what kind of genetic material gives what kind of eye colors, we have these alas, which later on go on to coat blue, green, and brown eyes. Obviously, there are other colors, but you know, we're just staying with these. So, these positions on the chromosome, you always remember to, to label everything, uh, these are called the loci. Loci, loci is plural, whereas the singular is locus. Genetic loci or alla loci or uh, whatever, um, if you label it this way, the, the examinator or your teacher will definitely understand, especially because remember we're in standard level.